the part of the brain that we looked at um, to, to describe this plasticity was um, the visual cortex. And the visual cortex is a part of the brain that's been historically studied um, because you can manipulate um, the visual environment and then see how changes in a, in a person's experience uh, end up rewiring the brain. And um, Hubel and Weasel did those sorts of experiments and really were the first people to show that um, the brain rewires itself during what's called critical periods. Um, and, and that once it's rewired itself, it, can't, it, it won't change those rewirings again later. And, and that's an important, um, important function of the brain. And it's one of the things that makes the brain really unique. Um, because you, you want the brain not to be simply um, Every, you don't want every function of the brain to be already predetermined when you're born. You want it to be able to change and reorganize itself uh, depending on the environmental circumstances that you happen to be born into. And probably the most familiar example of that is language. For example, I'm, my descent, I'm of Turkish descent. And if I had all of my language um, knowledge pre-programmed at birth, even though I was born in the United States where people speak English, um, I would be speaking Turkish and unable to speak English. But because my brain is plastic, I'm able to learn the language that is appropriate for my surroundings. And so the visual cortex is the place where the mechanisms of the, the the rewiring of, of those circuits, we, we first really learned about that. And that's where we also st looked at the plasticity changes in Fragile X. And the hyperplasticity of those circuits could make it that, uh, could, I mean, we don't actually know that the hyper um, excitable, hyper, um, this, 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 increased sensory overload, it, we don't have a way of saying that increased plasticity would lead to increased sensory overload um, is seen in, the pa in patients with autism, but um, it's certainly possible. And, and the fact that this, this hyperplasticity ex exists in a primary sensory region of the brain is certainly suggestive of that that, that might be possible.